is it a true teaching or not that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Prophet, peace and blessed be upon him, his holy progeny, before he created any of his creation? And also that the purpose of creation was for the existence of the Prophet. Is it something that the Imams told us about? Yes, of course. The fact that Allah created the Prophet before anything else is an established fact. In Sunni books and Shia books. The hadith in Sunni books is very famous from Ibn Abbas who said that I himself said, I have asked the Prophet, what did Allah create first? The Prophet replied, Nuru Nabiyyik, the light of your Prophet. So the light of the Prophet was created first before anything else. أول ما خلق الله نوري. The first which was created by Allah is the nur of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny. Of course, the Prophet Muhammad and his holy progeny because he and Ahlul Bayt are from one nur. Allah in the Quran says, ذُرِّيَّةً بَعْضُهَا مِنْ بَعْضٍ So first, which was created, is the nur of Muhammad, peace be upon him and his holy progeny and his Ahlul Bayt. The other question that the purpose of creation, Allah created what he created out of his mercy. Allah wanted his mercy to reach to creatures. But the creation must be perfect. Allah does not create any creation which is not perfect. And without the perfect leadership, the creation will be not perfect. Allah created the Prophet and his progeny being the noble leadership which is must for the creation all. That's why we read in the Hadith Al-Kisa, إِنِّي مَا خَلَقْتُ سَمَاءً مَبْنِيَّةً وَلَا أَرْضًا مَدْحِيَّةً I did not create what I created, إِلَّا مِنْ أَجْلِهَا وَلَا الْخَمْسَةً Because of these five. Means their creation is the condition for the whole creation because they are the noble leadership which is must for a perfect universe of all the creatures. <laughs>